What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Move You Podcast. Today it is me and uh, Fabby. It's uh, me. Uh, uh, hopefully, as always, it will be. Uh, today, chronic pain causes understanding the root issue. If you understand the root issue, then you simply focus on undoing the root to fix the problem. If you don't understand the root, you're literally chasing symptoms, stretching this, getting an injection here, getting a surgery here, strengthening this muscle, reading on Google what, understand the root cause and it will set you free. Take the time to understand. Take the time, right. Take the time to understand it. Some people are like impatient. Just give me what to do. Well, if you do something and you don't know why you're doing it, you won't keep doing it. Yep. Most people enroll in Move You because of chronic pain. Unfortunately, that's where it is right now, right? Ideally, it's for prevention in the future, but right now it's pain. Uh, it's common symptoms, it's things you feel. Back pain, radiating pain, shoulder pain, radiating arm pain, foot pain, knee pain. Those are things you feel. Diagnoses, disc herniation, stenosis, facet joint pain, shoulder impingement, hip impingement, uh, hip flexor pain. These are diagnoses. The diagnoses are labels created by the medical system to help to better describe your symptoms. Then you have... Then you have common misalignments, scoliosis, uneven hips, one leg longer than another, anterior tilt, rolled shoulders, kyphosis, knock knee, flat foot. Um, List goes forward on. Forward head. These are things that you can see. Misalignments are things that you often can see. Most of you can't see your own misalignments. You're blind to those. So root cause we're getting there most of you especially those of you who are in chronic pain who have experienced chronic pain you possess a a, a you possess misalignments to your spine and your body and these misalignments are present with you 24 hours a day you're misaligned as you're doing your stretches. You're misaligned as you're doing a strength. Maybe one strength exercise helps improve the misalignment. Maybe another one you do puts it right back to where it was. So these misalignments are, are they're somewhat unique to each person, but they follow predictable patterns. Very, very predictable patterns. And these predictable patterns are associated, correlated with common symptoms. And the symptoms that you feel often get labeled with a diagnosis. Some of these causes for misalignments are this. Over, overuse, uh, misuse of your body, abusing your body, repetitive movements. You're sitting in a chair for 12 years of your life in school. You know, I had never thought about that until, the, I don't know, last couple of weeks ago we had a conversation on the phone. And we were like, think about how you write in school. Oh, yeah, my whole my neck. And I seriously was like, how many years of our life, whatever hand you write, That's it. you are like that. My neck, if I, I like watch myself this is this my is, head is tilted this direction. Right. It's not because I'm inquisitive about what you're saying. <laughs> so I'm probably not even listening to what you're saying. I, know I the have answer. never thought about that. Uh, and that's like developmental stages of people's life, too. That's right. something so, so it's stupid that you would never. In too. You're just leaned a certain way I was yeah. like oh shit I didn't think about that until like I've always known my head was like tilted here so I'm, I'm constantly like reversing it yeah but it, it I remember I was writing and I was just like oh my god I know there's where it comes from <laughs> so then I've been writing lefty recently which is very it slows down the process significantly <laughs> stop <It's, laughs> yeah and so like what other things in your life right. have you done that have that are like a that aren't so common with sports you've played, instruments that you've played. Mm -hmm. I don't know what instrument this is. It's like a <laughs> combination of a cello <laughs> and a guitar. It's a But anything guitello. in their jobs, uh, mm -hmm. if you're at the grocery store, you're probably dominant with what, like, 
right? Whatever. Life gives life. you misalignments. Life gives you misalignments, including <sighs> sports. Obviously, if you get whaled with a sports injury one time, right. that could blow something out, and your body was never the same because you'd knock your car tire out of alignment. Um, misuse, sports injuries, car accidents are the probably the most common reason that people say their pain started was from car accidents. The accident often didn't cause the pain. It caused the misalignment, and that long-term misalignment, long-term misalignment led to pain, which we'll get yep. to. I think I just, spoiler alert on that one. <laughs> so here's some examples of misalignments, the most common ones out there that are related, that, are, that cause predictable wear and tear, which cause predictable pain. Flat feet, that's where your, your, arch, your, your arch flattens. Knock knees, that's where your knees bow inwards. Anterior pelvic tilt, too much arch in the back. Flat back, the opposite, too little bit of arch in the back. Scoliosis, which is an abnormal excess of lateral curvature of the spine. Uneven hips, rolled, rolled shoulders, forward head posture. These are just a few of the common misalignments. It's often, though, that you don't have just one because the body is a wonderfully compensating unit. If you have a knock knee, what happens is, is the knee bows inward, and that inward actually causes the knock knee, the hip on the same side of the yep. knock knee, to drop down, which causes excessive lateral curvature of the spine, which causes the shoulder to elevate to compensate. So often comes with one misalignment, there's often a series of these. Now, we all do have misalignments to a degree. The problem that exists is whenever we have chronic pain and these misalignments, and especially whenever those are related. Now, I'm going to – let's go over one example right now, it, and it's called flat back. It's not most – it's actually not even con uh, discussed uh, as frequently. It might, it's, there's no real – a common name, like anterior tilt, people know that one, but posterior tilt, flat back, is where you don't have enough curvature of your back. So whenever you don't have enough curvature of your back, you're tending to bend down and lift things up with your spine bending over and over. Not, you're not moving from the ball and socket joint of the hips. Over bending of the spine over and over causes disc compression of the back. Starts with disc compression, then goes to a disc bulge, then leads to a disc herniation then leads to multi-level disc herniation, and that ultimately leads to degenerative disc disease. That is how a flat back causes, leads to those. Often, also flat back, because you are not bending from your ball and socket joint, your hips, you have weak glutes or no glutes. Your pants are falling down your butt, where's your butt? Your hip flexors are tight, your glutes are weak because you're not bending from your ball and socket joint. You probably can't engage that, right? Can't, not well. Yeah, because, because to engage the glutes, you need to bend yep. fully from the ball and socket and come up. And because these people flat back are bending from their back, they're not you right. the, the glutes aren't weak because you're not doing enough. They're not they're not weak because you need to do more squats and deadlifts. They're weak because you're not bending from your ball and socket joint. So that is also, this is, a, this is how this predictable pattern of flat back can predictably cause this wear and tear. And ultimately what occurs is this wear and tear, if your body's lucky, the wear and tear signals pain receptors within your body. It triggers and alerts them, and your brain interprets that as pain. And then now... Pain is a signal that something is off or something that is wrong with the body. And that's often the point where people start seeking solutions is whenever there is pain. But often your body's been talking to you for quite some time before. Mm -hmm. You just haven't been listening. So additional factors that can accelerate the wear and tear of this misalignment. You have this misalignment. Maybe you're carrying extra weight. Maybe you're carrying or overweight, carrying extra weight that way. Maybe you're uh, lifting with extra weight, performing movements, Every time you bend and lift with a misalignment, it can speed up the inevitable. Even psychological and social factors can exacerbate these issues like fear of movement, fear of the future, timidness, lack of confidence in general. These also, pain is very comprehensive uh, and not purely physical. Over time, these structural problems lead to injuries, tears, herniations, tightnesses, all these which your body can interpret as pain. So it's important for you to know that pain is often a multifaceted experience. Um, it has, with pain, root causes can be as much as uh, uh, pain can be, can be 
back pain can be rooted in childhood traumas, in abuse, in, in, in neglect as a child, in, in loss of a family member. Uh, there's roots there. Uh, physical pain can often turn into psychological issues as well. Depression is like you look back at your past and you're sad about it because, you know, you hurt your back on a trip. Fear of the future, anxiety, ah, I can't go on the trip because of my back. These are often manifestations of these deeper root causes. So it's important for you to know that your body falls into these common misalignments through different factors. And these misalignments cause predictable wear and tear to the structures of the body. And over the course of time, uh, if you're lucky, your body will alert you that something is wrong and you experience is pain. And it's at that point, the pain, that you now need to address those deeper root alignment issues, which will ultimately create better alignment, which will reduce the excessive and uneven pressure upon the joints and the disc. Ultimately, the, fixing the misalignment will strengthen the weak, will loosen the tight, and will lead to you fearing the pain less, better understanding the pain, being more confident in yourself, and more confident in your future.